today we're going to be painting the judge from the dead west box of zombie side under undead or alive and before we get started here's the paints you're going to be needing for this miniature yeah we're going back to basics on this one using some good old fashioned army painter war paints Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. So we're going to be painting the Judge from Zombie Side Undead or Alive, the Dead West box. So this is a Kickstarter exclusive. We primed her in a ash gray uh, primer uh, from Army Painter to have a nice base coat for the colors we're going to be using, which are all war paints and they're all non-speed paints. And it's going back to the basics of how to paint a miniature. You know, we started off with acrylic paints. We didn't have all these fancy paints. Well, anyways, I had some with the contrast paints when I started painting and all that, but I started off with acrylic paints four years ago. And Army Painter paints, I still have some of them. They haven't dried up. They haven't had any problems. Some of the caps, we had a little issue in them, but I just fixed them or Army Painter sent me new caps. Or I just took a needle and put it through it and cleaned up the little hole and there you go. I know I'm not mentioning every color I'm using on painting on this, but I'm sure you can read the bottle or you can see what I'm painting as well. This is the longer part on this miniature with Necromancer Cloak. Again, a beautiful color. It needs, uh, you know, all these colors need a little bit of shaking. They need a little bit of time to dry and possibly a second layer as well. Uh, however, whenever you have a nice gray base coat, like especially a light ba uh, gray co uh, base coat, my god, a light gray base coat, let's say that 10 times fast, uh, you get the coverage you need with the paints on top of it. Now you can see the Necromancer cloak is a little light. Of course, you water them down or you put some medium in them. Always make sure your your, your brush is wet before painting or grabbing the paint uh, just so that it, or damp, not soaking wet, of course, just so that you can mix up your water or your paint. My God, I can't speak this morning and uh, thin down your paint so that you don't lose any of those nice details. As you saw with the brown that I put on the pants there, you can still see all the nice creases. I'm sorry I went off camera here. Uh, again, when you're recording, sometimes you don't realize where your miniature is and where the camera is but I'm using some bleach skull from the DND paint range um, to do her scarf and I'm doing also the inside part of the book uh, then I come back with some leather brown now to do the actual book here and uh, I mean this miniature yeah it's from the zombie side on dead or alive I know it's not a super popular board game not many people backed it it wasn't huge it's great because it's kind of in the old west but it is a hard board game okay when you play this game it is hard uh, it is not easy to win this. Uh, people have said they'd like to see more board game playthroughs on here. I'm going to try and vary it up a bit. Maybe do some Marvel Zombies, some Zombie Side, some Black Rose Wars. But it depends on timing and if I can f myself find a time to do this. Um, anyway, so Matt Black for her little boots here. Um, what's fun is that this is, I believe, this character is based off on a real person. I think it's the Supreme Court Justice. I'm not sure in the US. I Guys, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Or is this a person from the TV show? I know it's not the People's Court. I know it's not Judge Judy, but uh, anyways, if you know who it is, uh, comment down below. I should have looked it up beforehand, uh, but you know what? I like making you guys comment and search it for me, and I like to be surprised and find out things along the way, and I always check everyone's comments. I usually reply to every one of them, so please comment down below what you liked about the mini, what you didn't like about the mini, uh, if you like Undead or Alive, if you want to see more Undead or Alive. I've got a few extras. I didn't keep every single Kickstarter exclusive in the Stretch Goals box because I find at some point you have too many uh, heroes, survivors just to play with and it just becomes overwhelming in a game and at least this way what I did is I think I kept like six or eight of each uh, type of survivor and there you go. Anyways, uh, enough rambling from me. The judge is now painted and ready for the table. Here's again a list of the paints that were used in this miniature. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. Hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, join especially, and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> 